So, let's open this up, shall we? And there we can see the original Lumen Flower Gardens, as in the, the actual world. So I think I should be able to drop down here. There we go. Yeah, not even damaged. So let's check around here if I don't miss anything. And then drop down again. So now. You see all these patients standing to the flowers. Which would eventually turn into the breeding ground for the Celestial Emissary. So another item here. Can hold blood. And then it's time for a massacre, I think. So I wonder, normally there would be a hole in the window here. In the window. Oh, wow. That actually works quite nicely. Am I hearing the blip blop blip blop? Or is it something else? Oh, crap. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, didn't expect that. <laughs> That's not the uh, really handy, is it? Okay, so methodical. Get interrupted rather quickly. So that should be the last one, I think. So these guys have magic attacks. Great. But that's all of them. That allows us to get the item of the patient here in the middle. The black sky eye. Now, what is that? There's the balcony key, maybe show that. Key to the balcony on the first floor of the research hall. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower gave this to the patient Adeline. Maria had hoped Adeline would find comfort in the faint breeze that carried the scent of flowers from the outside, but Adeline couldn't fathom her intentions. So that didn't work out. And then the black eye. So this is a magic item used, a magic attack. Soft eye blessed by a phantasm. They were discovered through Bergenworth's contact with the arcane, but in the end revealed nothing. Deep within the eye lies a vast stretch of dark sky that rumbles with an endless meteor storm. The slight rub of the tiny orb and the rock will tumble and soar. So, kind of a meteor magic attack. So, good, good, good. We're uh, starting to amass a nice collection of weapons in this episode. I'm gonna keep the most important thing for the end. The most interesting thing, at least. Because there is, in fact, another boss battle I haven't done yet. So, first, let's drop down here and see what else there is. Because I keep hearing this weird noise. That was that. Bloodstone chunks. Just in case I need another one of those. <gasps> yeah, okay. I fell for that. Must admit, I fell for that. Well, I'm gonna do this one first then, since we're here. Uh, if you set this thing off and let it go. To the research hall again. There is another elevator here. Or should I say the shrine. 
So as you might know, this is the shrine that was below in the, the lower cathedral. So where the burning cleric beast was. And this is where normally sits the beast skull of Lawrence. And now this is Lawrence's human skull. So very interesting indeed. Skull of Lawrence, first vicar of the healing church. In reality, he became the first cleric beast and his human skull only exists within the nightmare. The skull is a symbol of Lawrence's past and what he failed to protect. He is destined to seek his skull, but even if he found it, it could never restore his memories. So although this says that he became the first cleric beast, this also indicates that it is not the cleric beast that we fought because the very simple reason that we found the beast skull of Lawrence in the Grand Cathedral, the original Grand Cathedral. So the beast we fought was not Lawrence, just to be sure. Um, okay, so I'll warp back up there so, so I can open that chest. Oh, you know what, now that we're here as well, we also can open this door and talk to the man. Or not talk to the man, because this guy is banging his head Betrayal into the wall. Certainly... Until he's bloody. So the only thing you can do with this guy is just put him out of his misery. And we get his hunter gear. So Yamamura hunter hat, Kakihaora old hunter armbands and wine hakama. So let's check this gear out. Worn by Yamamura the Wanderer, his hat and staff were given to him when he became a hunter and confederate of the League. This eastern warrior pursued a beast for honorable revenge, then became a hunter of the League. But when he stared straight into impurity, it drove him mad. Of course, the idea that the scourge was infectious was pure hearsay. And blah blah blah. Okay, so that's another fellow hunter that. Well, turn a bit cuckoo. So now I'll go back to. Uh, I'll open a few doors, which we missed before. Don't think there's anything interesting behind these doors, but I'll open them nonetheless. There's another one. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Oh, snap. And down he goes. Might have cheated a little bit there, but... The Church Pick. One of the old trick weapons of the Healing Church, a hunting weapon formed from one of the giant's picks that appears in old beast tales. The Church Pick initially serves as a large sword, but when transformed functions as an extended war pick. In spite of its origins, it is, highly, it is a highly practical weapon. So I think that's one of the last weapons you can get. I don't think there are many more. So, now what I was planning to do. So back out onto the balcony. Break the window again, because that apparently doesn't happen. And then, now. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, take the left side on that jump. There we go. Pulsing damn blood gem, so another blood gem. And that is about it for the most part, I think. So I'm gonna drop here. And then down here. Onto the beds. And now, the big last secret. So, now, of course, uh, it wasn't that big of a secret since we had our suspicions from the beginning. Now that we have Lawrence's skull, 
this beast will actually be quite pissed because this beast is actually the representation of Lawrence in this nightmare realm. Lawrence himself. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh god, there we go. Talking about full circle. So, yeah, he knows we got his call. So maybe a quick pointer before we begin. I have not read anything about this fight. So, this is still blind for that matter. doesn't seem so bad. I think it's best that I don't lock on. Didn't work there. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, okay.
Okay, reposition, reposition, reposition.
my god! Oh yes! Fuck you in the face! Holy crap! God damn it! Ooh. Well, we're uh, three days further than at the beginning of the episode. Um, that was the most bullshit boss in the entire game. Also the last one, by the way. Am I glad I killed that motherfucker? I think it's even the first boss battle I used two weapons for because I switched between the Burial Blade and the Rakuyo. But the Rakuyo had the highest DPS for this, so... Uh, okay, maybe a few tips, although it uh, largely comes down to learn his attacks and dodge in time. Um, so uh, the first attack you can always run past and get a few free hits in from his back. Uh, if he puts his claw in the ground, you should walk away because that will explode. Uh, the other things he likes to do are the uh, the slams with his fist on the ground. That's uh, also an easy one if you back off to uh, get a few hits in on his head because that's his visceral attack point. Uh, and when he tries to grab you with his two arms is also a very good uh, moment to try and get a visceral in. Uh, after about a third he gets into a fucking frenzy and uh, gets way more aggressive than in the first phase gaining a lot of new attacks uh, I won't even name them all there are too much to, to call them all out uh, there are three leap attacks so do, don't stay too far back because he will get you uh, and then the third phase he loses his legs and the uh, lava starts to pour out um, his, there's a pretty safe spot beneath his uh, right arm so your left um, that's I found that to be the best place to be um, but try to leave a couple of, uh, of meters because uh, of the lava that continuously pours out of his back um, well I, I think the last part was actually not that difficult if you kept your distance a bit uh, so you could circle around him if you did that those series of smashes um, well, that's about it. Uh, fire resistant gear, you've seen I, I switched to fire resistant gear and some beast runes on my weapons. Um, beast blood gems, I mean. So, uh, I was really lucky the last time, this time, um, because I had, I think I had 20 blood vials left when he lost his legs, allowing me to be very defensive if I got hit back off completely and healed to full so he couldn't one shot me because uh, he has a few attacks that will do that um, and then try to get don't don't get too greedy strike him once or twice every time he he attacks you and misses and damn I think that was it that was the final boss then there will be a few minor other things uh, that I must have skipped over uh, but I'm not gonna do those anymore so this is officially the end of my Bloodborne series I I really enjoyed it, I really hated it at the same time because there were a few bosses that were hard. Well, this one was really unfairly hard because of a few reasons. Um, well, Ludwig was hard, but that was hard because of his mechanics, which was pretty cool nonetheless. And the Orphan was also pretty hard, but also very original, so no point in that. But this was just a reskinned Cleric Beast. With a lot of health points and flames lingering after his attacks, a few one-shot attacks. And this arena is way too small to fight a beast like that. Um, I can't even begin to count the amount of times I uh, I got cornered by him. So uh, overall I think it took me about as long as it took me for the Orphan and Ludwig. Not together, separately. So... Uh, it worked out in the end. It, it's mainly a, the boss is very difficult because you need to to start memorizing his attacks. That that's the only way you can do this and, do, and dodge through everything, uh, so that you don't make any mistakes. If you make a mistake, it's pretty much game over by then. He two shots you with every attack he does. So uh, I hope uh, my tips will help you guys out as well if you haven't beaten him yet. Um, so yeah, the end of the series. I would like to thank you all for uh, watching and supporting me throughout the series and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I have a few other series running at the moment. Uh, I'm, I've been streaming Fallout for a few weeks now. 
Uh, the Witcher 3 is also going on really strong. The Death March difficulty, so not a difficult game for me. Although I did find New Game Plus Plus on Bloodborne right now. This boss way harder than anything in The Witcher, but hey. So thank you guys again for watching. And I hope to see you in some other series. So thank you and goodbye.